This is a very brief video just intended to show you um, how to create uh, item properties uh, correctly in Magic Draw in a way that's going to be useful to you. Um, item properties are basically the things that flow. They're like parts, but they flow uh, across um, connectors on item flows. And um, so I just wanted to show you in a very simple diagram here, a very simple example. Uh, here is a, this is an automotive kind of domain. I have a structure package which shows my automotive context. I have an, automotive, an initial automotive domain model, which is just very overly simplistic, um, just to show that there are some pieces to the automotive context. Um, this is not uh, the kind of domain model which would have the conceptual kind of information in it, as you're saying, what are the pieces in the context. So then I say, if I open up an IBD of the context itself, uh, all I'm really concerned about right now is the car and the roadway, and I have a, uh, a need to describe uh, the flow of, uh, of uh, force between the car and the roadway, which is what actually you know causes the car to move. So how do I do that? Well, here's a very simple example. Let me just show you initially what you can do is you just select a connector and you connect uh, the car and the roadway together. Then you open up the spec on that connector and you can say, well, what can flow across this connector? Well, you can go to item flow and you can say add. And then uh, at this point, I'll drag this into the window, you can uh, add an item flow. Well, the trouble is the item flow doesn't really help you all that much by itself. What you really want to do is add an item property, which is the part that's actually flowing. The item flow, all it really does is set a direction. Uh, and it's saying from the car to the roadway, well, that's the right direction. Now I need to pick a property. When I want to type something in here, what it's going to do, though, it's, when you click on that, it's going to go down to look for a part that you're going to put on there. Well, the part I want, I don't have on there yet um, because what I really want to show is the, um, uh, the transfer of force. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to back out of this right now. I'll cancel all the way out. Okay. What I will do is I'll say, well, what I really, what I've done previously is I have some item types I've established that those are the the types of things that are flowing around the system. They're not the the usages. They're not the poor, the 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 actual uh, parts. But what I can do is I can create a part by just dragging um, uh, the the type onto the uh, onto the IBD. And now I have a, a, a part force. I'm just going to give it a name, motive. So it's motive force. Okay, now it exists. I know it exists. I know where it is. So I can do the same thing again. I can go to the connector. I can go to the item flow. I can say I'm going to add an item flow. I can select an item property. Uh, I can actually find within the automotive context motive force. Okay, and I'll click OK from the car to the roadway so it's the right direction so I'll click OK and I will click uh, close here and now you see motive force between the car and the roadway it is in fact a part you can tell that by the fact that it's got the colon in the right place now that I show motive force on the IBD as an item property I don't need to show it as a part anymore so I can just delete it from there I don't delete from the model just from the diagram so that's how you go ahead and build a, uh, an IBD with an item property on an item flow on the connector. Item property is the part that's flowing, the item flow gives it the direction, and the connector is the, the, the instructions about how these things connect together and gives it a, a place for the thing to flow. So that's what I've got for how you build it.